What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here, coming off a little bit of a break, and we're going to go old school on this. I told uh, the late in the latest uh, clan war we had, I told uh, the whole the whole clan whoever failed on this base, uh, the Jack Sparrow base is going to be featured in the next video. So the question I have is. Why is the rum always gone? So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to show uh, two attacks and then a cleanup on it. Uh, we all know where everything is. I'm going to go ahead and post uh, a link right here to my How to Beat Jack Sparrow base pre Town Hall 11 update. This is going to be the post Town Hall 11 update. So we're going to use bowlers. We're going to use shattered entry with uh, Go, Bo, Va, Ho. So uh, golems, bowlers, valkyries, and hogs. So standard stuff coming in from the top here. Tesla's popping the hidden Tesla on the outside of the base, doing the funnel. Well, just taking a little bit uh, too long to get that funneling in and not really getting it exactly the way we need to get it done. Drops the wall breakers in there, drops the king and queen, valkyries. And here's the problem here. Um... Here's the problem here. That's okay. Here is the problem. When Valkyries get in there, they just start tearing the the compartment up and the bowlers are so slow that the Valkyries are going to get through with almost all of this compartment before the bowlers even get in there. So they're going to take care of that compartment and the next step is for the bowlers to move to the north compartment. And that's the problem with this attack. Valk's too fast and uh, the bowlers are not going to be able to get into the compartment. So they've already taken out all that stuff. So the bowlers just about walk into that compartment and they're like, nah, there's no more uh, any buildings left for me. So I'm just going to walk. So he's got all five bowlers coming out there using a double jump to get to that queen uh trips the double giant bomb which is what is expected he does have one bowler in there it's doing some work under a rage and under a heel but uh it's a little too little too late uh the bowlers are walking on the outside he's trying to supplement it with the hogs but uh it's not going to go ahead and take out this this base the jack sparrows heavy dps in the center so going around the base is not going to help um almost gets it though very very close uh still has some hogs doing work here has no more spells he's used it all for the core of the uh, kill squad and uh the queen if she just was able to take out that archer this would have been a three star that last hog goes down uh getting that archer tower down to half energy still has the queen ability with a level 28 queen but it's not going to be enough uses the ability and now she's got a punch through the wall so it's just one tile away from getting that uh, three star uh the mortar would have done nothing to the queen if she could have taken out the archer tower but she just breaks through the wall right here and then gets taken out um i think she would have actually hit the uh, elixir storage unit if uh, she did get through that wall so it probably wouldn't have been a three star anyway so we'll go ahead and speed things up and we're going to go ahead and take a look at a second attempt from kind of my way of, of three-starring the base, what I posted on my video. All right, so we came in from the top last attack. Um, we're going to come in through the southern, southeastern part of the base this time, just like I did with how to three-star this base previously. And um, we noticed in the first attack that the funneling wasn't done completely, and the Valkyries made it in uh, to the compartment way too early. Uh, a lot they should have dropped the, the bowlers maybe even before the Valkyries, just so they could have walked into that compartment. This time, um, he's duplicating kind of what i i've done he brings a couple extra valkyries uses some baby dragons the problem is um the reason we used the stone entry entrance here for uh, how to beat this base is you'll notice that the golems just get pounded on when they uh, are deployed on the southeastern part one of them is completely uh, just obliterated by that even level 10 queen uh, higher queens would do even more damage and just take in the hits over and over until the funnel is done and then the second golem down a little bit further is going to be hit by three point defenses i think even four with this expo maybe so um just just getting pounded in that's why you need the stone entry because those two golems are going to help you get the funnel that third golem is going to help you push into the core and trip the double giant bomb sets and negate the other one so let's go ahead and check this out so he's got the baby dragon and minions funneling which is great that's fine there's a lot of trash buildings on here and the baby dragons make that so much easier and quicker 
Um, he's got the two golems. Now look at the queen. Queen is on on the top golem. Uh, three three point defense. So he skipped that extra point defense. So but three point defense is, sends the first wall breaker, uh, a couple wall breakers into the break open, and one of them reroutes. The other one is still getting pounded on. Drops those Valkyries in there. Drops the bowlers, which is normally what would hold the max golem. Very nice job on the jump though. But again, that funnel is not co created. Uh, it's not completely created. So a couple of those bowlers actually walk and uh, doesn't need that. Doesn't have any real big tankage except for the king to go in there. And um, then, uh, you know, everything else is going to pretty much fall apart at this part. He's just not going to have that push to get through. And uh, the queen's going to take the jump, start uh, taking out that clan castle building and um it's gonna kind of fizzle out at this point with the, the that max expo hitting on the king and then the the, uh, the bowlers and then the queen so the queen uses her ability and uh the the hogs are trying to make their way through but uh, i've already used all the heels no more left and uh, some spring traps take care of that the bowlers are doing what they can on the outside but uh we've only got a handful of hogs and when i say a handful i mean like a small handful like two or three and uh, that's all that she wrote for this base so golems are I'm sorry the little golemite and the um, the bowlers are gonna get taken out here I think just rage quick because knew it wasn't gonna uh, go ahead and get the three star and it was a second attack what I didn't mention on that first attack and you guys probably noticed it um, he I think he forgot to send the king in there as well into the king kill squad he used the king wait or is that the second attack I think this is okay. This is the third attack. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the three star hit on this one. So, and I think uh, I don't think this was on purpose. It worked out, but I don't think it was on purpose. You you do want to send your king in there with the regular uh, kill squad group. So we're gonna go back to the, the basics of the first attack, just duplicating it, but funneling a little bit better and deploying a little bit better. So this poor golem is gonna take a beating here. But uh, wants to get that funneling done really well and then sends the second golem in, which is going to get hit by the king and the Tesla. But uh, using that wizard to go ahead and funnel with the barracks there and it will work its way down um, and start funneling even a little bit more. So wall breakers go in. Everything is going good. Breaks in a little bit lower. But look at that. The bowlers are sent in now. Now they have their path of coming into that compartment. There we go. They have stepped in there exactly what you want. And now the Valks are running in there. So they're all one big happy family. Makes all the difference in the world. He's got all five bowlers into that compartment. And uh, at least three of them are walking into the core. Drops a heal. Drops a rage and a jump. Uh, or double jump to get into that queen. The queen, enemy queen, is taken out right there. And uh, still has the queen going strong with ability. King is not even deployed, which that's what I'm saying. I don't think that was on purpose. I think you want you want to deploy your king in with the kill squad. It's going to push even further and tank a little bit more. But uh, he uses the king on the backside to tank for all of those um, cannons, which kind of works out because he has no spells left for his hogs, and it allows those hogs to walk in. So I could be wrong. Maybe that was undesigned, but um, I would use the king into my kill squad. It will push so much further and uh, get a lot of those other defenses that were still standing. And uh, we've got the uh, hogs that are going to take out this archer tower. And then they only have that mortar left, and uh, the king is still up, that giant is still up, and we've got some hogs doing clean up here. So I think if you use your king in the kill squad, um, I think you'll actually take care of the base a little bit more soundly. But uh, you know what? He gets the three star, and that's all that matters. So hopefully you guys got to enjoy this blast from the past, how to beat the Jack Sparrow base part two after the Town Hall 11 update and uh, go ahead and practice it. I would recommend that you guys have somebody in your clan duplicate this base. Just put it in one of the um, the their designs, maybe even the farm base, so that uh, whenever you do your friendly challenges, go ahead and throw this base up there and let them practice on it. That's the way to do it. Get used to it. I mean, we still see it quite often. Um, it's kind of incredible. And sometimes uh, we run into clans that run multiple versions of this base in the same war. So so uh, go ahead and take these uh, strategies, practice them, get used to it, share and, and like, subscribe with the rest of your clan members and uh, practice, get those six star clan wars and go ahead and friendly challenge to get those three star attacks.